subscribe to my channel and press bell icon for latest updates. Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Raghuveer. In this class, we will discuss about how to code ML. Our goal is to make you achieve paid internships after third year or placement. This is what our goal is. In order to achieve this goal, you must follow some steps. Let's check what's those steps and why we have to follow those steps. For implementing ML models, first thing is, first thing, we have to know Python language. In the Python language, we, have, we mostly use these concepts. List, dictionaries, set, if else statements, loops. Coding ML is very, very simple. We don't use complex logics. Just simple logics we use, uh, if else statements, loops. If you know these concepts, you really feel very easy to code ML models. So please, if you don't know these concepts, uh, please watch our Python classes and come back here. Coming to packages, these are the list of the packages which we use mostly in ML. We use many packages, but these are the packages which we use mostly. During the implementation, we will teach you, we will teach you only 70% of the code. So let's say, take a program and this is a block of statement and this is another block of statements, Python coding and this is a function. We will teach you like, what's this block, block of code will do? What's this second block of code will do? What's this function? Why we are using this function? This is the way we will teach you. We won't teach you pin to pin explanation about the code, why, why we are using if statement here, why we are using loop here. This is the way we don't teach you. We will give you 70% understanding about the code. It's you have to, you have to, we are providing you the data set and we will provide you the code file. Please download this and you start practicing the code. You have to download this document and you have to start analyzing why we use this code and what's the relation between these functions and this code why these functions why not uh, why this logic why not some other logic this is the way you have to start uh, working on the code and uh, do in and out practice about this code because teaching coding is not a good practice practicing coding is the best practice this is the first step you have to follow What's the first step? Practicing. You have to practice the code. This is the first step. And coming to second step, during the practice, if you have any questions regarding the code or mathematical concepts, please start discussions. Please post your question below and start discussions. Discussions will make you confident. So our second step is you have to follow discussions, start discussions and involve in others discussions, solve others discussions problems. That is the way which you will get confidence. These are the two steps which you have to follow. These steps will lead you to your goal. Okay. And coming to packages, Py Python is having so many packages and in those in those lot of packages we use these packages mostly let's take an example pandas is a package and in this package we are having so many classes and in each class we are having so many methods then how to know all these methods how to know all those classes so the pandas who developed pandas they clearly documented about each class and each method these documentations are available in the internet. Let's take an example. Pandas is a package. In this package, we are having a class called data frame. And in this data frame, we are having so many methods. Let's open the Google and type pandas data frame. In the Python official website, who developed this pandas? From that website, you will get a clear documentation about this class and what are the methods that are there in this class, why we use these methods, what's the use of those methods, and what are the variables, how to instantiate this class. Everything is given with a clear example. Okay, 
you have to search in the internet why why we are telling this is the way you search you can search all the packages all the packages and what's the classes there in the packages how to use those packages everything is documented you have to search the package and you have to start working on the implementation we will teach you 70% remaining 30% you will get it from these packages that's why we are making a separate video on why we have to how to search for the packages and how to use in your implementation okay now let's check in on our system how to open these packages and how to check the documentation we will show you for uh, pandas data frame the same way you have to search your packages required for your implementation and you have to work during the implementation so coming on to the system open google and type pandas data frame so we got a list of uh, websites this is pandas.py.pydata.org is the official website for uh, pandas so open this we open this so this is what the documentation they clearly documented everything about this data frame class see check here class pandas data frame means data frame is a class and these are the variables which we can initialize when we are using this class and what is this data frame what why we use this uh, class it's clearly mentioned here this is a two dimensional heterogeneous tabular data means this is the class which we use to save data in tabular format what's this heterogeneous means we can save different types of data means you can save integer data you can use a uh, string data you can use a uh, combination of both that is the meaning of heterogeneous tabular data so go down please go down and here they have given you an example we will use this example and we will execute this okay and going down they have given you list of the attributes there are so many attributes which we can uh, use in this we will use shape attribute uh, okay coming down uh, they have given you list of uh, list of uh, methods in this we will use the method called drop is a method which we use here so coming to we will check this we'll code this here pandas import pandas as pd means uh, we are importing pandas package uh, and we are naming it a shortcut as pd as pd means aliasing d is equal to this is a dictionary in python we are creating a dictionary and the key in this dictionary is column one and the values is one comma two second key column two and the values is uh, given in the list so here we are creating a data frame pd dot shortcut pd we created a shortcut a pd dot data frame of data is equal to d we are calling a dictionary here this is what given in the documentation see data data is a variable data can take dictionaries data frames or iterables these are the values which data can be given so we are creating a dictionary and we are giving it uh, as an input uh, what what this data frame will do the, it will convert this dictionary into tabular format uh, column one is taken as a column name column two is taken as a column name and the list of the values are taken as the values in this column values in this column this is how we displayed this data frame printf df okay this is how we will explain you the code we will we'll explain you 70 percent please download this document and you work on this document the link to download this document is provided in the description below so please download the document and uh, coming to we we have created a data frame here and the data frame is having two lines and two columns so that is what the shape attribute will give so we are displaying df dot shape means it is displaying two comma two let's 
change the data and check the shape we are adding one more value comma 5 so please add one more value and 5 execute this okay you got the values and execute the next line see shape changes how many lines three lines are there and how many columns two columns are there so how to delete a column how to delete a column in the data frame we will use the method called drop is a method which we can delete a column or a line so give the list of the columns which we have to delete axis is equal to one means we are deleting column that is what it mentioned axis is equal to zero means we are deleting a line in place is equal to true means uh, after deleting the column please save the data frame on the same location we are not giving any other variable please save in place that is the meaning of in place see after uh, deleting the column we are displaying the df uh, data frame it's showing only one column okay execute this it, sh it will show only one column this is how we have to learn from the documentation please go to the method and learn what are the variables which we use if you if you feel difficulty in searching all these methods there is one more way go to google and uh, type how to delete a column in data frame okay then it will give the method which used to delete a data frame see official website it is giving a open this and we open this pandas.dataframe.drop this is the method which we use uh, to delete a line or delete a column in this way you have to learn all based on this documentation you have to learn everything and you have to understand this then only you can you are able to code ml models okay this is how you have to follow so if you have any questions regarding this concept please post your questions in the comment section below if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates thank you